When the mayor's an ex-cop, he closes the brothels down himself. Mayor Eric Adams today orchestrating a crackdown on prostitution and sex trafficking in Queens. It's clear what is taking place there. Uh, this is really bringing down the quality of life of this community. And anyone who says this is a victimless crime uh, just, you know, really needs to see the in inhumane conditions. The conditions. A long row of filthy beds you can see from the street, divided only by curtains between them, right on a commercial strip of Roosevelt Avenue. Families walking with their kids. You have women out here scantily dressed. Like, do you want your kids to see that? This has been a calling for over a year now from community residents, local businesses, uh, who are just frustrated uh, with the uh, fact that they have to walk these streets uh, and see what's happening out here in the open. Police worked into the night shutting down businesses they had gotten warrants for earlier. But the women working were not the targets. They are, in fact, the victims. We don't want to lock up the women that work here. We want to get them help. Our job as the police department is to help them get them the services that they need so that they don't got to do this. There's other types of work here in New York City that you can do besides doing this. 48 hours later. You know, for some time now, we've been discussing about the situation on Roosevelt Avenue, Queens, the red light district, uh, to that situation, whereas there are prostitutes up and down the avenues. And this is not like, um, if you're familiar with neighborhoods in New York City, uh, this is not over on the other side of the Bronx, which is mostly uh, in that area where there's a lot of prostitutes. It's primarily uh, factories, warehouses, and stuff like that. This is out in the open. And you've seen the footage, and we'll show you more of the footage again. This is an area where it is teeming with families, with children, uh, people selling goods, st a lot of stores, food vendors up on, on top of food vendors, which it looks great. Um, you know, fruit and vegetable sellers, uh, clothing sellers. You know, this place is teeming with a lot of traffic day and night around the clock in this neighborhood. You know, on the weekends especially, uh, you know, you see a lot of this late night. There's still, you know, there are not that many um, vendors out, but there still are some because basically there are bars and clubs in that territory. And if you haven't noticed, right above it, right above it, yes, it is a subway. It is one of the hot, one of the subways that are basically a lot of people do ride, which is the seven train. You know, basically, you know, that one goes over by uh, Citibank where the Mets play and it goes into the city, um, you know, back and forth, carries a lot of people in and out of New York City to work. Uh, you know, there are people who go out to shop in this area on Roosevelt Avenue. And just last week, in a show of force, NYPD decided to, with the mayor of New York, Mayor Eric Adams, decided to raid uh, these brothels, um, which had inhumane conditions and all that. Uh, there is a confusion. Uh, several media outlets, they said six, others said 12 uh, to that situation. But let, let's look at what the mainstream media here in New York had talked about, you know, this whole situation. 
This alleged brothel that was raided by police and shut down yesterday here on Roosevelt Avenue remains closed today. But if you peek in, you can still see the shattered glass. This woman showing up Friday afternoon trying to pull down the gate of one of the alleged brothels. Ma'am, did you work here? Huh? No, did you no, work here? I did know you, working. No, did you know anything about it? I know working. I know working. On Thursday afternoon, the NYPD says it shut down at least six brothels in Queens. At first glance, they looked like massage parlors, but police say what was happening within the walls of the shops was clear to those who live and work in the area. Authorities say it was clear sex trafficking and prostitution. One woman who lives just steps away says women would stand outside at all hours of the day, attracting men to come inside. Inside one of the businesses, you can see just how filthy and tight it was in there. Curtains separating the beds. The mayor saying the conditions were inhumane. A day later, after the shutdown, residents breathing a sigh of relief, saying they don't understand what took so long. And you could see that the media, the media was out there in full force. Um, even uh, hours later, afterwards, you've seen that they stuck around with the NYPD. Supposedly there's an NYPD force, a small force still in that neighborhood. But here's the other thing, and I'm going to tell you why this was just showing glamour for the media. And I feel sorry for the people that live in that neighborhood. Do you think it stopped them? Do you think it really stopped them from... Uh, the, or just stop these brothels and shut them down? No, they didn't. They may have shut down the buildings that they perceive they, they were operating out of, but it hasn't stopped the brothels. And the thing about it is, here's the here's the big part, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody got arrested. No one was arrested. Why was that? They may say, you know, and they were saying, well, you know, we can't. And you heard in the in the um, in the newscast uh, that basically, well, we didn't want to erase it. We tried to rescue these girls and blah, blah, blah. we tried to give them help, but we didn't arrest anybody. The, the, the people who were running the place. Why? Why wouldn't you? But like I said, did it stop it? No, it didn't. And do you know why? Do you know why exactly? Well, as us, the YouTubers out here, and I give, give also to the guys that are on the streets, you know, I give them a hat tip. And the, see, the thing about it is the media didn't give hat tips. They were like, uh, to, to basically, these are the people that have been showing the footage. It's not only myself. I've been carrying some of their footage, so at least we can try to get the word out. But these guys have been in the field, out there, documenting this constantly for several years now. And I give a hat tip uh, to this particular video for NYC Backstage, who was there on the weekend and filmed this particular footage, which shows you nothing's changed. Nothing has changed at all. They've shifted themselves down the block. You know, they haven't raided every one of the massage parlors. I don't think they got the ones in the basement or the ones on the side street. There are still prostitutes up and down the avenue in certain places with an NYPD presence there. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the cops are there, but they're not going to arrest these girls. Understand that. They're not going to arrest them. No, no. What you saw was just political show. The political show that has been going on in New York City for quite some time now. If it ain't the city councils, it, it, you know, it, it is the, the mayor, the deputy mayor, and, you know, all these people that have gone in that has ruined New York City just for politics. See, the thing about it is, and you push to the example on here, and you've seen this from the footage, who are these prostitutes there? These are illegal immigrants from China. And from Central America, South America, and who know who 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 knows where else? These girls were brought here. Okay, understand? They were brought here to be prostitutes. Understand that? This is when people tell you, when politicians tell you that 
what's coming across that border, a lot of them are the worst of the worst. And that is correct. They said, well, these girls are innocent. Which ones are? How do you know which ones are not the madams who are responsible for running this? And you could see, here's the thing. You could see who is on the street corners trying to bring these guys in. And they're still out there as they bring them into the brothels. And this has been documented by other YouTubers. But yet Merrick Adams pats himself on the back and all these other politicians pat themselves on the back for, for, getting, for doing what they did. But 48 hours later, they're still back on the streets again. And the mainstream media hasn't even discussed this. Uh, they've shown a couple of things where girls have shown up to pick up their stuff. Yeah, they picked up their stuff so they can go down the block. Yes, they shut down one piece of real estate. But the thing about it is, you got to understand the thing. They could still buy other real estate. They could rent out other real estate. You know, and they said, well, you know, the landlord, you know, just, why don't you just charge Landlords has someone who rents the real estate going to say, what are you going to open there? Ah, uh, doctor's office. Oh, okay. You know, these guys have the money to falsify information. Understand that. The women in here, they talk about sex trafficking. We have to save these girls from sex trafficking. Save these girls. But you're not taking them in. In order to save them, you need to take them off the streets. Find out, identify who they are, where they're from. What, you, what can you do, but you don't have the money to do it because you uh, basically you're handling all this influx of illegal migrants in, into New York City and who is it affecting? The minority communities, in the schools, um, in the SNAP programs, in the food banks, uh, basically places to live, you know, areas on there and the crime this is not the only thing you got to remember also there has been an increase in crime about five percent increase lately and there are other stories coming out and uh I, we're looking into one from viral news new york another uh a someone that's on twitter uh that he's been documenting uh situations where down in the uh West Village in New York City, which is, you know, on the weekends, it's highly um, congested because there's so many nightclubs and bars and stuff like that. There are illegal migrants on there pickpocketing people that are in these bars. Several people have been arrested, but the mainstream media hasn't talked about this. No, they haven't at all. They're allowing these crimes to occur. I myself will say, you know, sex workers, you know, it needs to be legalized. Because basically it will slow down and stop the, the ones from outside the U.S. A more control and licensing that it is. Reno has been doing it for years. Countries like Spain and many others have been doing it for many years very successfully. But, you know, you hear situations that they want to remove it. But the thing about it is by, remo by removing those laws, you're giving, you're giving those, girl, those girls, those guys back to the pimps. And the guys running this sex trafficking business. We need to shut it down at the border. Exactly. Same thing at our ports. On, on all sides of the U.S. Because that, they're coming in there as well. We, guys, we got to be sure we're on top of the flights that are coming in. You know we have people that are traveling on, on flights illegally. And it's being allowed to. Not the airline's fault, is basically the government is pushing this. This is why I tell you, pay attention who you are voting for in your next election. Know who you're voting for, who basically, where they get their money from and all that. I ain't telling you who to vote, but the thing about it is, look at what has happened so far. And the last, the last several years now, what has been happening you know, to our country? It is literally falling apart by the seams. And you can see it in cities like New York, uh, Chicago, uh, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Seattle. You know, you see all these places that they're falling apart. You wonder why governors like in Texas, they are defying the, you know, 
the the White House when it comes to protecting their constituents down Texas way. Because there are people just coming over that borderline that shouldn't be coming over. You know, nobody's being checked. Meanwhile, children are, you know, there are over 80,000 children missing. Remember this little thing from a, from a Senate subcommittee hearing? Remember this part of it? Senator Butler, that every child gets a know your rights presentation. Is that correct? That is correct. Is that before or after you release them to labor traffickers? Senator, every child that comes into our care gets a Know Your Rights presentation as well as... Have you read these New York Times reports, these stories, the, the series of stories the New York Times has done on the children who are in your care? Have you read them? Yes, I have. Have you read that children are scrubbing dishes, they are operating heavy machinery, they are delivering, delivering meals, they are harvesting coffee, they are working construction, they are working as housekeepers, they are working overnight shifts at plants where they are not paid, they are not going to school, they are not cared for, they are not giving meals, almost all of it illegally. Are you aware of that? That's a yes or no. Yes. Do the Know Your Rights presentation help them in those situations? Senator ORR. Uh, That's a yes or no, I think. Yeah, where are those children? I'll tell you where some of them are. They're on the streets of New York, specifically Queens, and being used as prostitutes. There was recently, you know, within the last, I think it's, it's recent, and then there's a couple of three others that has happened prior to that. Children under the age of 16 who are working in factories that ha have died by machinery accidents. And this has happened. We found that children that, you know, and the thing about it is, is that you have certain state politicians trying to change the labor laws. That's going to endanger children. So you could say there was just another Merrick Adams folly in Queens. It hasn't solved anything. It is going to continue on. So if you get a chance, check out NYC backstage. He's got some great videos. Takes you around New York City. He shows on there. He does. He he is one of several YouTubers that shows you Roosevelt Avenue. Uh, so give him a like and a subscription. And don't forget to comment below here. Be sure to like, share this video. It's very important that this gets out. And also, hopefully today's the day I've earned your subscription. I think we're just literally 10 to 15 subscribers to go to get to 1,000 on there. We're just about, uh, our hours are just pushing upward because you're, a lot of you are catching a lot of our New York stories, which you're finding very interesting and important to get out there. So until next time, thank you for tuning in. Check out all of our other videos on Mad Men with the Show on Q to Gas TV. Until then, have a good week. Enjoy yourself. Stay safe. Stay strong. Thanks for watching, commenting, and sharing this video. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe as this helps the reach of this channel. Finally, as a content viewer, you have the ability to help support this channel as new internet laws around the world will diminish our reach and affect our sponsors. If you choose to help, there are two ways listed in the description below. The first link will lead you to a pay site where you can make a monetary donation. The second will lead you to our gear shop where you can buy shirts, mugs, and other gear. Discounts will be listed on the site. Once again, thank you for watching and your support.